What's up everybody? I hope everybody's been doing okay, been doing well. Um, CT Knife Vids here with another knife video. Uh, I am sorry I haven't posted in a while. I apologize. Uh, yeah, check out this beauty here. Uh, here, we're going to talk about this here in just a sec. Um, haven't posted in a while. Uh, long story short, I got like four different hobbies, four different uh, YouTube channels, and I'm working two jobs where I'm teaching music, and a bunch of other stuff going on in my life right now. So. Just posting when I can, got a couple of uh, new knives that I'm going to show off and talk about. Um, today we're going to go over this guy here. Uh, if you guys recall, the um, swing guard abalone that I had from AGA, uh, I was talking about how I had to get a hold of more abalone, because uh, once you get a hold of them, I mean, you just fall in love with them very easily, so I went ahead and did that. Um, right here what we have is uh, an Italian stiletto, this is a Frank Beltram uh, from Italy. Uh, 11 inch uh, classic stiletto in abalone scales all right now I'm gonna show some different angles to make sure you get the full coloring and all that the Sun is actually behind me so I'm trying to get the best angles possible for the best bling bling if you will possibly in the shade you don't get quite as much glare so just look at that baby glow so beautiful. I love abalone scales. This one I think has a little bit more green on it than uh, than the AGA I had, which had a little bit more blue, blue and purple. But this is really cool. This is something I wanted to get my hands on. Uh, it was a Frank Beltram. This is my first Frank Beltram ever. I never was able to really get a hold of one, go around and get one. But I do like it a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. We come over here, the uh, the lock is pretty tight and it works well, I just don't feel like messing with it right now. So all that's good, but let's go ahead and look. And what we have here is an 11 inch beauty. Now you, what you can tell from Frank Beltram's what I've noticed is the, uh, the blade itself has this little bit of like a kind of bowing type shape where it's a little bit more thick uh, right up around the center. I can't really point because I only have two hands. But, uh, I've noticed that's like a signature thing he does. Um, I'm guessing only for recognizing purposes, but you can always tell it's a Frank B with the type of blade on it. It also says it on the tang, which you're not going to read with all that sun bling blinging. Let's go over here. It's hard to see. I'm trying to keep the camera still. Oopsie, went away. Oh, it went away, but you saw it said Frank B Italy and uh, I mean this thing is just gorgeous it is a swivel bolster so you would push the bolster down it's not a pick lock uh, you push the bolster down see if I can do it with one hand yep uh, to close the blade all right close it all the way up looking real nice looking real good and crack her open and it's actually pretty impressive for being an 11 inch. I know the 11s and 13s and such is, especially with AGA Kimball, and I've noticed they uh, they tend to flop open a little bit. Um, but this one has a pretty good snap to it. All right, it's probably not quite as fast as like your typical 9 inch, as they ping, they they'll tend to flick open real easily. Uh, the smaller the blade, the more easy it is for it to flick open. This this one has a pretty good snap to it for being an 11 inch. Uh, really nice, very impressive. Very happy with it. I uh, got it off one of the knife pages for a pretty good deal. Um, so that was really cool. Definitely couldn't pass it up. But yeah, I just figured you guys would want to check this out a little bit. Let's take a look at the spring. Pretty good. No real creases in it. Not dirty or anything like that. I don't pocket these. I, I leave them open to uh, keep uh, pressure off the spring. I leave them open and I wrap them up in bubble wrap and I store them away. I make sure they stay wiped down and all that so that there's no smudges or whatever have you. So, really, really cool. One nice look at this beauty real quick. I might even get some more in the future, but I really wanted a classic Italian stiletto, preferably a Frank B, just like this. Um, I got the AGA swing guard and then I was like, man, my next abalone has got to be like a regular stiletto and like a Frank B or something. And sure enough, that's what I got. An 11 inch too. I wanted a really, really nice size abalone. 
So that's what I scooped up for a pretty good price. Looking real good. All right, another brief news before I leave. Um, I'm excited to tell you guys that I've got a couple surprises for y'all. I've got a couple new specimens coming in. Uh, I'm not going to ruin it. I'm just going to wait to show you guys because um, one came in the mail already. I'll go ahead and make another video on that. Uh, but I got a couple more guys coming in that you are going to have to check out once it comes in. Some real nice, uh, real nice pieces. But anywho, so that's more to come. But I hope you guys are doing well, doing safe, everybody's okay, and uh, we'll move on. We'll keep in touch and, you know, just keep rocking, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much.